So welcome to our workshop um, and to explain our new X3 series um, to all of you. Uh, my name is Nikolai Martin and I'm the senior vice president for the product line, which includes also the X3 in the model lineup. Yeah, what to mention uh, related to the X3 series uh, at first. Um, the model itself is super relevant for the BMW group. It's super relevant um, in its now upcoming fourth generation because it's proceeding its success story of more than 3.5 million vehicles we sold over the last 20 years. We founded that segment of an SAV in that compact class segment. Uh, we have been the market leader in that segment for more than 20 years now. And uh, actually last year it was the most sold single model in the BMW model lineup. And therefore, we have an internal slogan for the project, which means strong today, but also strong tomorrow, coming out of that strong position and to proceed uh, in that success. If we look at that lineup, uh, for me personally, it feels like yesterday to look at that first generation because for me it was the starting point also in the company at that point of time. Uh, the current third generation uh, is very successful uh, still in the market with uh, the most sold vehicles on a single model last year with more than uh, 350,000 units within one year um, worldwide. If we look at our upcoming uh, vehicle and uh, the production um, network we are using, we have to mention first that we again will deliver out of our plant in Spartanburg. We will start the series production there this summer. Um, and in addition, we enable um, all infrastructure aspects in our plant in Roslyn in uh, South Africa to deliver exclusively from there to the whole world the plug-in hybrid version uh, of the X3 series. And also to mention we will have a local produced X3 series also in China. Powertrains we will offer in that vehicle, we will have world leading versions of our diesel, of our combustion engine uh, driven um, and uh, petrol driven vehicles and also the plug-in hybrid in that vehicle. But to make all these uh, powertrains as efficient as you know it from BMW and uh, to make the vehicle itself as dynamic as you know it. Um, within efficient dynamics we enabled first of all um, the best uh, weight uh, contribution with uh, material mixes to support that uh, lightweight construction but on the other hand the aerodynamics measures we included are again an optimization compared to the previous version of the X3 series. Um, the optimized underbody panels, um, the specific elements like the D-pillar aeroplate um, and the air performance wheels over all inch sizes um, and the air curtains with active uh, uh, functionality and not only design aspects and also the air vent control enable a class leading um, value in aerodynamics of uh, 0 0.27. Uh, when we come uh, to digital features, to digital content, we will have absolutely uh, a state-of-the-art offer in that vehicle. We will combine the first time in the model lineup the operating system uh, 9 with an iDrive controller still in that vehicle. So the user interaction is based on touch, on speech, uh, and also physically on the iDrive controller, and that combined with all the content we uh, launched already with the operating system 9. And if it comes to the driving experience, the main goals uh, have been uh, the long distance comfort in that segment, but still combined with a sportiness, and compared to the previous version, even enhanced experiences, uh, also combined with uh, enhanced driver assistance. So, my name is Alexander Karalovic. I'm responsible for the integration of the driving experience. Um, and when we talk about driving experience, we are not talking only about uh, driving uh, uh, dynamics, but also the perfect symbiosis with the driving assistance systems. And uh, we both leveled up in the actual, in the old new X3 in comparison to its predecessor have the chance to experience today two models. Uh, one you have already experienced on the outside round, uh, the uh, four-cylinder PHAV, uh, and the second one is the MPA later on. Um, here's the chassis setup of uh, the PHAV. So we have a complete new developed front axle and a new developed uh, rear axle. We have also a new developed uh, steering uh, with a uh, belt 
driven um, uh, steering gear, uh, which allows us to uh, create a really X3 specific uh, kinematics and elastokinematics. We have already in the PHEV a strut uh, package to uh, level up the, the stiffness of, of the car. And we have a wider track with the same wheelbase in uh, comparison to the predecessor. And we have a new, new developed uh, tires, label A tires, but also very good in performance and comfort uh, characteristics. Uh, we have an M-specific kinematics and elastic kinematics. Uh, we also have this new steering uh, uh, system, but with a variable uh, ratio. We have an extended strut package in this car. Of course, the wider track, as uh, I said before, uh, and new developed tires, but label, label C uh, with a, um, a focus on performance, uh, but also uh, optimized for roll resistance. And uh, aerodynamic optimization, and uh, with this package we are able to create these MPA uh, typical driving characteristics, precise, agile, stable, uh, that we know from our MPA models. In addition, uh, the controlled rear axle lock differential, which is relevant. For us, mandatory, every uh, MPA model. So when we look at the control systems, we are with our lateral control management, um, dynamic management, and with our vertical dynamic management in our newest generation. Uh, we optimized the function and the algorithm. We use uh, inputs from the steering angle, the speed, from uh, the yaw rate, but also the loading of the car and uh, of the grip. And we added in the algorithm an uh, uh, additional attend observer, which improves the forces and the stiffness of the suspension. And we so get the perfect setup for the driver in each situation uh, he needs, with the result that he gets more sportiness and more comfort at the same time. When we take a look on the driving assistant system, we offer up to 40 functions in the all-new X3. Over safety, driving and parking, in safety we do much more than require the NCAP regulation. Driving, we have improved a lot of functionality, but we also added new functionalities in the new X3, like the automatic lane change, but also the active cruise control is, for example, with uh, traffic light recognition. And uh, uh, regarding parking, it's uh, uh, a good example is the maneuver assistant, which is uh, very new with the remote control via uh, the mobile device. These new functionalities are based on the latest uh, sensor technologies. We have uh, a far range radar in the front of the car, which is able to look 300 meters in front of the car. We have two short range radars in the front, two in the back. We have six super uh, ultrasonic uh, sensors in the front, six in the back. We have uh, side cameras in the mirror, left and right. And we have two cameras in the windshield. One is for the augmented reality, and the second one is uh, for the ADAS functionality with the, with the eight megapixels camera. Thank you very much for the attention.